for this demo, we are going to use a Carlis 9300 stack that I have in the lab. And to start the workflow, we can go to provision application hosting for switches and then select the tab for thousand eyes. First, we are going to get the details of the Thousand Eyes Enterprise Agent software that we are going to install in the switches. To start the workflow, we need to define a, a name. This is a task name, it's arbitrary. And then we are going to select the portion of the network hierarchy where we will be installing the Thousand Eyes Agent. We are then presented with a list of switches that we have in that part of the network hierarchy. And for each switch, we have a, an assessment of readiness. We can see that we have a whole bunch of 9200 switches, for example, and these show up as not ready because application hosting is not supported in 9200. Our Carlis 9300 stack shows up as ready, so we can select it for this installation. Next, we need to populate all the parameters for the installation. We need to populate the VLAN and the IP addressing. IP addressing that we support is both static or dynamic. For this demo, I'm going to show how to do it with static configuration, which uses a CSV file. The easiest way to do it is to export the CSV file. We're going to get an empty file that we can then populate with all the parameters. Once all the parameters are entered, we can save the file and re-upload. Using a CSV file makes it much easier when we need to associate all these parameters to a whole bunch of switches. In my demo, I have a single switch, but again, if you have a, a large amount of switches, you can easily and rapidly populate these parameters. To upload the file, we go into the import option. We are going to import this same file that we just saved. And we are going to see that now all the details for this installation is uh, shows up in this screen. So the next two sections, we are going to keep them as default and we are going to look specifically into the Docker runtime options. For the Docker runtime options, I have all the configuration already in the notepad. So I'm just going to copy and paste the configuration. And what we need here is specifically a token. And the token is a string that is going to associate the enterprise agent with your account. So you need to get that, that string from the dashboard. For that, we are here in the Enterprise Agent tab. And if we do select Add a New Enterprise Agent, navigate to Application Hosting, we can see that the first tab, the first option is the Account Group Token. We just need to copy this token, and this is what we are going to be using in the Docker Runtime Options. In the Docker runtime options, we can optionally specify a host name and we can enter details on your proxy if your environment uses a proxy. Now we are ready for the next step. And this is just a summary of all the information that we entered previously. Now we're going to go in and provision. And once it's done, we need to wait for the status. It's successfully provisioned. So now we are ready to go in and manage the application. With DNA Center, we can do lifecycle management of the app. We can upgrade, we can uninstall, start and stop, everything centralized from DNA Center. So the next thing to do is to come into the Thousand Eyes dashboard and we can see that the Cat9K with uh, a thousand eyes agent pop up so yes it did pop up automatically the moment we install the agent with the right token uh, that action will make it show up as a new enterprise agent that has just been added 
So this is this concludes the installation. The infrastructure is ready now to go in, configure the test, and take full advantage of Thousand Eyes enhanced visibility.